All right, hello everybody, it's Colin from CPRW Records, back again to introduce more bands appearing on Hidden Gems 2. Like, so far we've spoken about the first uh, 21 over the last three days, and today we're going to talk about the final seven. Um, but before we do that, we just have a quick uh, word about uh, Lifeline for Kids once again. Like, they're a charity who supply equipment like wheelchairs and stair lifts for disabled children from sort of poor and impoverished backgrounds. So they're definitely a charity we're very pleased to be able to support. Okay, uh, the final seven band, let's crack on with that. And then, all right. So first are Burning Nickels, who are a pop punk band from Canada who work with high denim records. Like They've been kind enough to give us a brand new, yet to be released song called Cobwebs, which is from an, it's gonna be released on for, with an EP for them soon, but it's so new, it was only finished like a week ago. So thank you for them for sorting that out for us. That's really cool of them. That seemed like really good guys. So I'm looking forward to the whole EP coming out. All right. Next is a band from New Zealand who I have a really hard time pronouncing their name properly. It's their right, uh, Cutie Cuties. And uh, to use their own word, they're a five piece poppy, punky, queer, super rad band which I think sums them up quite nicely. Um, they've given us their song, Johnny, from their EP, Free Bleeder. It's like really high energy, in your face, put a pop loveliness. I think you're going to love them. Uh, next is Earthbook, which is the solo project of a, a person named Mark Gorey. They're based in Ohio and they play like acoustic folk music, telling stories of life spent on Earth, which I guess is where the name Earthbook comes from. I really enjoy the way Mark plays his guitar, he plays with a lot of passion, like really strums hard, and he also has a great voice. Like if you like Sam Russo, Earthbook will be right up your street. Uh, next is Horrible Charlie, who are a four-piece from Pennsylvania. They're like pop-punk emo band, I've been around for a few years now. They write really catchy songs, that, like fill you with like good energy. They're definitely like have more of a pop punk riffs to them, but like the vocals have much more of a harder edge. It's got quite a cool sound. Like they're also really not afraid to throw in gang vocals and I love gang vocals, so I'm all for that. Uh, next is No Character, who are an old school pop punk band from Sweden. I believe it's the project of one man, and, he, and I think he is looking for bandmates. So people of Sweden, if you wanna, search, you wanna join a band and search out No Character, they play like really fast Ramones core. Like the vocals remind me a lot of Mikey Erg, who I'm a big fan of. So that's cool. Um, next penultimate band are Plastic Flamingo, who are a four piece from North Carolina. Like I found out about them after meeting their singer Brian in the Fest Friends Facebook group, which is a fun group. Um, they play like beach themed power pop music. Uh, Brian writes really relatable lyrics that also paint like fantastic pictures like you can imagine you like to quote Emma from ages ago she's like you can imagine you're in the music video um we have the song Guam Baby Guam from Halloween Beach Party which is a great album like today we've posted our review of it on the on the site so check that out uh last is the band Underdog Upper Hand, like they provided us with the song White Death from their album Confrontational, which was released on Brown Bear Records last year. It's probably the hardest track on Hidden Gems 2, like lyrically and musically. It's the sort of song that really makes you think and uh, you'll hopefully learn something from it as well. Like I think it's always important to keep learning and sort of just trying to better yourself, I guess. Um, so. Yeah, that's uh, all 28 bands now spoken about and introduced you to, and hopefully you're excited to check them out. Um, I'm really, really pleased with how Hidden Gems 2 has come together. Um, uh, I'm really excited to get everyone to hear it as well. Like, Thank you to all the bands who have agreed to give us songs for this. It's like, we can't do this without you, obviously. So you're all wonderful people and I love you. Um, if you haven't yet, please like uh, and follow our Facebook and Bandcamp pages. Then you'll be alerted straight away when Hidden Gems 2 comes out, which is tomorrow. Um, we're going to aim for 8 a.m., but it depends on how quickly I drag myself out of bed. Um, last thing is, like, 
when it is released, if any shares or sort of retweets or any of that kind of business you can do is incredible. Um, we're very, very small. We don't have a lot of reach without giving Facebook money and we don't really want to do that. Um, so all the shares we get are really, really helpful. And if you, if you don't want to put it on your Facebook page, just tell a friend. Um, that's just great as well. Um, word of mouth is really important. So I mean, hopefully you can let you check out or discover some really cool new bands and raise a lot of money for a really worthy charity. So yeah, thanks for watching all these videos and get ready at 8 a.m. ish tomorrow for Hidden Gems 2 to come out. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Cheerio.